Hey everyone, I hope everyone's having a good night. Um, this is my third video for Be The Witchy Change. Um, the first video I did last week, um, I mentioned that I wanted to do up an altar for this. Um, for this, not, not necessarily this movement, but I was really moved by the movement. Um, and I wanted to have a sacred space uh, to come and send warm fuzzies and positivity out to the online pagan community, especially newbies that were kind of wanting to get, find their niche and find their voice. Um, upon kind of thinking about that and watching other videos, it hit me that my desire for that grew to a bit, uh, grew more than that. Um, I, I realized I want to send that kind of positivity and light into the pagan community at, at large, not just online. Um, certainly online is included and incorporated, but um, I wanted to send I wanted to send those energies and that intent out into into the world for any um, for any pagan. Um, I do have an altar already uh, that I call the Worm Fuzzy Altar. Uh, to send positivity, acceptance, peace, compassion, comfort, what have you. All those good, warm things that we want, um, you know, those days when we come home and we just want a big fucking hug because it's just sucked. Um, I do have an altar that, you know, every time I read a news story about something that doesn't make sense to me, something that just is sad and hurts and I can't wrap my head around when I see a news story when I read something in the paper when I see something on my news feed whatever it is that triggers that emotion of God, I wish I could just fix this I go to my altar when I get home even if it's just to light a candle and just say some small words about sending comfort to those in grief tonight. Sending a hug to every child that feels alone. That's what I do. And in saying it, it seems ridiculous to do that because the reality of the situation is, does it really help? Probably not. But it's what I can do. Aside from, you know, donations to charities and uh, volunteering my time and, um, you know, just trying to be a decent person in and of myself. But I, I hate feeling helpless when there are things out there that I can't wrap my head around. So, um, so I created that altar to try to help in some way, shape, or form. Uh, with energy and magic and intent. Um, but I kind of started to realize through this Be the Witchy Change that I wanted to focus on the pagan community as well as the world at large. Um, but I do have friends and that are pagans, and, and it, it's a little different, you know? Um, if I have a shitty day as you know, Anna Hoffman, I can go to anyone that I know and bitch about my day and I'll get comfort. When I feel like I am missing something on my spiritual path, I am very lucky that I do have people I can go to. It is a small pool of people, but it's still a, p a pool of people I can go to. There are some people that don't have that. Um, there are people that can't share their identity online or in any way, shape, or form. Um, I know I did not start anything within the pagan community until I found my magical name of Anastasia Autumn Fire. Because uh, I was scared of my family aside from my mom and father or my grandmother and father finding out 
thought I was a witch and practicing. I didn't know what my mom would say. I didn't know what my sisters would think. I certainly didn't want to hear what my stepfather thought. Um, so I had to hide. And obviously, I'm on YouTube. My face is there. My mom can go on YouTube at any point and stumble across my videos and, oh, secrets out. <laughs> so I don't know how much I'm hiding. Um, but there are people who make YouTube videos and they won't show themselves. And I have nothing but respect for them because they are chancing it just so that their voice can be heard just so that their opinions can get out there and their perspective can get out there to share, to get, give some insight and, and help the rest of us that are kind of foraging forward on our own paths. I, I think that's so amazing. And it's a, it's a different kind of acceptance, I think. I mean, it's not, because I think at the very base of every human, at every person, we all just want to be accepted. We all just want to hear, you know, someone gives a shit. But in the pagan community, it's a little crazy if you think about it, that just because of my spiritual beliefs, I could lose friends. I could be disowned. I don't think I would. My mom would or probably roll her eyes at me and think I was being very dramatic by calling myself a witch. But um, I don't I don't think she would ever disown me because that's it's just not my mom. But I do know there are people out there that would disown their own children because of their child's spiritual beliefs and spiritual path. That's crazy to me, dude. It's so strange that there are people that get divorced because she's a witch or he's a witch. They call it out in court for custody battles. I, I, I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't seem as shocked because I've read stories where people are still condemned and, and persecuted and sometimes even killed as witches in other countries. It, it's still a thing in places. We at least have the freedom to be able to say, this is who I am. But it doesn't make it any easier at times when, yes, we have the freedom, but we don't have the support and acceptance to say it. I just, I, I thought it would be good to have a place, a sacred place, to go and send out some energy that lets other pagans know, other witches know, other whatever know, that if nothing else, I give a shit, and I got your back. And granted, I may never even know your name. But I see you and and I get it and I love you and I think we all could use a little bit of love and a little bit of support so yes so my be the witchy change YouTube uh, pagan online community what have you alter has now shifted to a pagan community spirit altar. Just a small sacred place for me to connect with the goddess and the god, the lord and the lady, and have them send some good juju out, some warm fuzzies out. Um, yeah. So I will be sharing those crafts as I make them. And then once the altar is finished, I will share the overall altar. Um, I do have a craft that I'm going to share tonight, but first I want to uh, also share my other weekly uh, dedication, at least for a while. We'll see how long it goes. 
but for right now, uh, the new, the newbie YouTube channel <laughs> and the give them some love <laughs> YouTube channel, um, for the newbie <laughs> YouTube channel, um, of the week, I am going to sh give shout outs to Aqua Witch. Um, I've already give, uh, given Aqua, Aqua Witch a couple of shout outs. Um, she tagged me, well, she tagged any subscriber, um, in the 16 witchy questions, um, which I love. I love tag. I, I think I've only really ever been tagged by uh, Elder Brimstone with her Yule tag, and then it took me forever and a day to get it up. But I got it up because <laughs> I love it. I love questions. I think it's fun. It's like those Facebook quizzes or surveys that you fill out that I think originated on MySpace. Oh my God, I'm old. But anyway, Aqua Witch. Uh, her channel, if you have not checked it out, please, please, please go subscribe. Do yourself a favor. This chick is full of information, and she's so warm and inviting, and yet she's just her. She's just real. Um, in fact, both people that I have on the docket are just them, and I really dig it. Um, but yeah, Aqua Witch, she has so much information. She did a video I just watched today of... Um, wishes on the wind or magic on the wind and she basically broke down um different magical correspondences about the wind like the direction of the wind if it comes from the north it's supposed to be cleansing and this and that and this is I mean this is my wheelhouse this is correspondence this is magical and I had never heard of it before and I'm sure there's some I'm sure there are many people out there going Sh seriously check you're a nerd and you didn't know that yeah I am a nerd, and I didn't know that, and it was amazing. So, um, and she does that. She'll she'll look up. She did a scrying video where she kind of had a book, and she was explaining what the book was saying, and then she kind of shared her stuff, and I just and she shared a couple of spells, and she shared a cleansing mojo bag. She is just she she's my kind of she's my kind of witch. <laughs> it's information. It is crafts. It is magic. Here's a spell. This is how I do it. Not saying y'all have to do it this way, but this is how I do this. Awesome. 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 Um, and I, and I like the, I like the idea of, Hey, read this in a book. I'm going to read it to you because I thought it was really interesting. So I want to share that fucking right. That's where it should be. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm cussing like a sailor today. Um, and I've actually been really good on the video. You should have seen the other, like, six I tried to do. Woo! Um, but no, she, it, it's just awesome to me. I just love her channel. She's very warm. She's got a great spirit. And she really has a lovely soul. I just, I dig her. Check her out. Um, I'll put her a little, uh, the, her web address? That's wrong. <sighs> I'll put her information in the description below because I can't remember the name of the thing. Yikes. Um, my give them some love uh, for this week is Stephanie, and I am so sorry. I'm going to pronounce your last name wrong. I'm positive of it. Buchex? Buchex? Stephanie, last name B-U-C-H-H-E-X-E. -E. I apologize. My given birth name incredibly weird last name. No one has ever pronounced it right, so I hate mispronouncing last names. Well, I hate mispronouncing names, but I, I'm sorry. I, I apologize greatly. But her channel is awesome. She um, has 125 subscribers right now. Really, dude, she, she's she been on for, um, been putting a lot of videos on for uh, probably little under a year, a little over a year, around the year mark. Um, tons of YouTube Hagen Challenge. That chick was on it. Um, she has book river, book reviews, a lot of random witchy stuff, some altar stuff, some hauls, really good um, information on kind of her takes on things, um, all sorts of witchy goodies. Please check it out. Tons of, for, for me, I don't get to really watch videos at home. Um, I listen to them while I'm at work so I can you know, zombie out on my keyboard and just kind of do what I need to do while I'm listening to witchy videos on YouTube. And I'm like, that's right. That's right. I, I actually, when listening to her, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yes. Yes. And I, I haven't commented on any of her videos because again, I suck at that. Um, but please check out her channel. 
Very awesome. So Aqua Witch and Stephanie. I'll put their info below. And uh, yeah, so those are my two picks for this week. And I'm going to share a quick little craft that I have for my YouTube picking community altar. Um, what I like to do is on my altar cloths or scarves or whatever I put on the underneath the altar, I like to put an inscription, whether it be the whole spell, uh, a spell, whether it be a programming, whether it be a sigil, whether it be a what have you. Um, just something for me to hone in on the intent. Um, we all have shitty days. We all have days that we wish we didn't have. And there are times when I have a crappy day and probably the best thing for me to do is to just go take a, take a ritual bath, get rid of the ugliness, go sit out on the deck, let the wind kind of cleanse me and take all the negativity out of me. Whoa, that was an interesting accent. Um, but I don't. <laughs> I'll still go to my altars. Um, and I have found uh, there have been times when I've looked at the insignia or the, the sigil or the spell and I'll think, <sighs> okay. Regardless of what crap has hit me, this is what this is about. This is what I need to focus on. It helps me hone in on intent. I'm not that artistic of a person. I'm not that, you know, I, I, I don't make the prettiest things, but it helps me. And so if someone is an artist, it probably would look amazing. But for me, it just gets me by. Um, this is a very good <laughs> example of, hey, it'll get me by because I was stupid and decided to use Sharpies. And while I love Sharpies, Sharpie on cloth tends to bleed through unless you have a, a very certain specific cloth. This is not, this is a very pretty little frilly sheer scarf, which means it bled super hardcore. So the words kind of just look like mush, but luckily I have my little blueprint, so I know what they're supposed to say, so I can go into my uh, Book of Shadows the correct way. You'll also notice on the blueprint, I have this, you know, these beautiful eloquence words that once it got on the scarf, I realized I didn't have enough room with a big, thick Sharpie point. So then those big words turned into these little clumps of words. But, but the point is still there, so it's good. Um, so this is my scarf that will go on my pagan community altar. Um, we'll start down here with earth because that's what I, what I like doing is starting with earth. Um, so I have the alchemy symbol and then in the witch's alphabet, of course, I have, uh, guardians of the north, spirits of earth, aid us with your strength. Then we go up to air, alchemy symbol and the words which look like complete and utter goo, but <laughs> I'll at least know they're supposed to say. Guardians of the East, Spirits of Air, aid us with your knowledge. Then we go over to Fire, Alchemy Symbol, Mush of Words. Guardians of the South, Spirits of Fire, aid us with your power. Then down to Water, Alchemy Symbol, Words. Guardians of West, Spirits of Water, aid us with your insight. Then the final little quadrant down here is for spirit. You got that eight wedged wheel, the wheel of the year. And then um, spirit, connect us with your magic. Because at the end of the day, that was, that is my intent. I want to help unify and connect the pagan community and, and just help us connect to what we need to connect with. Try to leave some of all this, you know, I leave the crap that really doesn't matter behind and focus on what we do need to focus on. And in the center, I have the pagan community in the witch's alphabet. And then the rune for joy, Vanyo. Um, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize if I'm not. Because that's what I think is going to propel everything is just focusing on joy. What is, what is it that makes us happy? What is it that we need to do to continue to make us happy? What is going to make the people that come after us happy? You know, we need to focus on the positive 
And no, that doesn't mean ignoring the negative, and that doesn't mean ignoring the dark. It just means let's work together to bring a little bit of joy into this world. So yeah, so that will go on my altar to help power it, program it, and make sure that I know what I'm supposed to be doing when I go there. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would share that. So with that, I will end this bad boy out. Bye guys. Have a good one.